A população mundial deve ultrapassar os 9 bilhões de habitantes em 2050. Já tem muita gente aí se mexendo para garantir que não vai faltar alimento até lá. É um movimento chamado Thought for Food, que reúne empreendedores com ideias inovadoras, pegando aí o gancho do Bob, e algumas bastante inusitadas. Então, a gente conversou hoje com um deles. Hi, my name is Peter Bickerton and I am an ambassador for Thought for Food. Thought for Food is at its heart an international movement and competition for students and young entrepreneurs to come up with an idea which will uproot the status quo and help us feed 9 or 10 billion people by 2050. And actually the competition has yielded some businesses. So we've got Agrilution in Munich who have um, an indoor vertical farming business. We've got Fopo Food Powder who use food waste to make a nutritious drink or food supplement. We have Hen Lights who won the competition who have um, a light which helps chickens produce more eggs. So some really good ideas have come as a result of it and I took part in the first competition and my idea or our idea was entomophagy which is insect eating. There are about 1.5 billion cattle on the planet which are ravenous for grain and eat about one third of our total grain which requires us to chop down a lot of rainforest. The fact is that more and more people are demanding more and more meat and more and more protein. So we need to look at alternatives. So About 2.5 billion people around the world already eat insects, so it's not something that should be think thought of as disgusting. It's something that's very normal, it's just we've been, been trained to think that insects are something disgusting. But actually, what I would like to do is make insects gourmet and show that they can present a much more sustainable, a much more healthy and a delicious, a very, very tasty alternative to our current meat-based diets. E aí, você encararia? O Peter Bickerton, que você conheceu agora, vai falar mais sobre esse projeto no Festival Piquenique sobre Inovação e Sustentabilidade. É uma parceria com a Globo News. O evento vai acontecer nos dias 3, 4 e 5 de novembro no Parque Laje, no Rio de Janeiro. Se você quiser encontrar o Bob, vai falar também. Pessoalmente, pode vai falar. <risos> Bob e seu caderninho. Vou levar o caderninho, eu mostro.